Greetings from the International Space Station. Our crew up here just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving to all our friends and family who are down on Earth and everyone who is supporting us. Thanksgiving is typically a holiday where family and friends get together. Sometimes that can't happen to physically be around each other. But today's age, you can virtually tie in to your family and friends. And one of those big traditions is having a Thanksgiving meal together. And, and so we're going to celebrate that tradition up here, though our meal may look a little bit different. Don, if you hold the mic. So we've got a container here of all the things that we're going to enjoy on Thanksgiving. It is a feast. Uh, let me see. We've got Brussels, sardines. Brussels sprouts, butternut squash, apples and spice. Smoked and, turkey. And, and smoked turkey. It's going to be delicious. It's true we have much to be thankful for on a professional sense. I mean, there's not many places that you can be that you can actually lay on the ceiling, and this is one of them. <laughs> We're thankful for zero gravity. It's fantastic. Uh, and of course, on a personal sense, our family, our friends, those that are lifting up prayers for us and have been, we're grateful for that. We're grateful for a nation that is a spacefaring nation that lets us live free, um, say what we think is, is important to say, and so many other things. So much to be thankful for in this season, to be reminded of that, to have a holiday that celebrates that. That's something to be thankful for as well. And so from all of us on the International Space Station, happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. It's time for turkey, stuffing, and all those traditional Thanksgiving dishes. But if you've heard eating this bird makes you tired, that's not exactly true. The turkey's not necessarily to blame. Registered dietitian Sarah Ream with Orlando Health says it's true that turkey contains small amounts of an amino acid called tryptophan, which is needed to release hormones that can make a person relax. But for the meat to make you sleepy, you'd need to eat a lot of it. If you're tired after turkey, Reem says the likely culprit is excessive carbohydrate consumption, causing a blood sugar spike. That subsequent blood sugar drop that comes down after that, as our bodies are kind of starting to normalize and process and digest that food, that's what's actually causing us to be tired. Reem says many people tend to overeat on Thanksgiving, but it's another misconception that you have to eat excessive amounts of food. I would really encourage you to stay more in tune with your body. Listen to your hunger and your fullness cues. While Americans are used to their Thanksgiving staples, Reem says it's a misconception that you can't stray away from that. She recommends swapping out some ingredients for healthier ones. Items that have a little bit less of those inflammatory ingredients, like our saturated fat, our added sugar and our sodium are ways to make things a little bit healthier, a little bit more nutritious for us um, without changing the whole Thanksgiving meal. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Definitely pick your outfit the night before. That's what I think. H hang up your outfit, know what you wanna wear, make sure it's comfortable, buy some new shoes so that it's like you're excited about it. Yeah. So that you wake up feeling like, oh, I get to wear my new shoes, a new outfit. Yeah, you get So when things go set. wrong, it's like, well, I, you know, I got a new outfit on. I feel like you should bring, um, like, a lot of books. Because, like, like, if you're first traveling and you feel like, oh, it's going to be great, I'm not staying that long. I'm, I don't need, like, things to entertain me well. Most likely you're going to need something to entertain yourself. What are your travel tips to get through security smoothly? You've got kids. What are the tips for other families? Follow my wife. While enjoying the ease of online shopping this holiday season, Teresa Murray, Consumer Watchdog Director with the U.S. Public Interest Research Group, says some deals really are too good to be true. What has happened really in the last year or two is that a lot of e-commerce sites have opened that are not reputable businesses. Murray says to watch for e-commerce listings that don't disclose a manufacturer and ship from overseas because they may not comply with U.S. safety standards. 
I like saving money as much as the next person, but not when it comes to compromising my family's safety. Unlike items purchased at a major retailer, online marketplaces that let outside vendors sell products may not be liable for an unsafe toy or other purchase. Orion Shin of Consumer Reports says regulation of online marketplaces simply hasn't kept up with the explosion in growth. There really aren't the guardrails there yet to really make clear what the marketplace's responsibility is if anything goes wrong with a third party seller product. And so we need that to change. Shin says consumers should do their own digging to ensure the product and seller are legitimate. Negative reviews should be a yellow to red flag, especially if there are a lot of them. And then check the um, federal age government's website for recalls, warnings, or any useful safety information. See if you can find that product on another major retail website. And if the company doesn't have its own website, that's typically a red flag. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa.